Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of The House of Us, a Korean movie from 2019 that was one of my most highly anticipated films in recent years. Now the reason for this is that it was directed by Gi Yun Yun, who previously directed The World of Us from 2016, which was one of my favorite films from that year. And even more exciting is that The House of Us is very similar in its themes because it continues this director's exploration of the lives and dilemmas of young children. Now going into this movie, everything was pointing towards a quality film, and it delivers the goods. So it's the summer holidays in the city, and young Hana is trying to get her warring parents to reunite. But she's distracted from her quest, one day, by a couple of younger girls, a nine-year-old, Yumi, and seven-year-old, Yujin. As she swiftly becomes an older sister figure to the pair, the trio's recess becomes one of imagination and adventure, from playing tricks on the landlady to going on a seaside reconnaissance. That leads to the bittersweet glimmings of maturity. So the opening scene shows our little protagonist as she witnesses an argument between her parents. Later in the day, she wins a good student award in her classroom, so as a reward... She wants her family to take a little vacation to the beach. But that request is interrupted by her parents fighting again after her father arrives home uh, pretty drunk. So her older brother is also of no help to her, primarily because of the pressures of his schooling as well as the long-lasting psychological effects of living in a house where the parents are constantly arguing about stuff. So our protagonist, Hana, really isn't asking for much in this film. She wants to contribute to stuff like grocery shopping and cooking, but her mother just constantly refuses to allow her to do that. And she wants the family to eat dinner together once in a while, which doesn't seem like a ridiculous request, but she can never get them to do it, which makes the idea of a beach vacation seem almost impossible at this point. But one thing I appreciated about this film is that the parents are portrayed realistically, you know, uh, without the, the need for, like, cartoonish villainy you know, or anything like that. The filmmakers could have made them, like, completely reprehensible people, you know, maybe physically abusive, but that's not the case here. You know, the situation, it is kind of a mess, Uh, even involves the father having an affair with a younger woman at one point, but it's not like hell on earth or anything that bad. On the contrary, this family unit feels more like a, a common representation of dysfunction, you know, in society. And it's essentially growing apart. That's the problem. You know, the financial structure seems to be there, but everyone is just sick of the situation, and they refuse to maintain any kind of connection whatsoever. With the exception of our lead character, who is, like, trying to hold this family unit together. That's kind of the the, the whole setup for the film. And the family situation for these other little girls that she befriends isn't that much better. I mean, they basically live alone in an apartment, while their parents work out of town. I mean, these are little kids, right? So that's not good. But uh, Hannah starts a friendship with these girls, and they form their own little, you know, family unit. And the House of Us, I would say, is driven by their interaction, and it's shown from the kids' perspective. There's a very playful middle section where the little girls just kind of mess around and have fun. They sabotage cer- certain things that they don't like and stuff like that. It's, it's really cool. It's uh, a lot of fun to watch, actually. There's even a scene of suspense, I guess you could call it, uh, when uh, our protagonist breaks something in the house, and she's nervous about how her parents will react to that. And we've all been there as kids, right? So a lot of this is very, like, realistic, you know, child interaction and dilemmas, which is really what drives this film. Uh, Very, very effective. I also think this film has a slight sense of anxiety to it, because... You know, it's so realistic that you're not really sure how it's going to end. You know what I mean? Are they going to end up going on this little family beach vacation? Will she be able to convince her family to do it? Will her family kind of solidify by the end of the film? Will it just continue to fall apart? You know what I mean? What about the other girl's family? Is You know, is what's going to happen there? So it's kind of, uh, it, it's a little bit difficult to predict how it will end. And it has a lot of nuance and... Uh, Yeah, this is a very high-quality flick. Even the performances by the kids are just really good. You know, I mentioned before on my channel that South Korea does a good job using children in their films, usually. 
and there are some some exceptions uh, to the contrary, but most of the time they do a good job, and this is another example of it. So I mean, it's I mean, due to just the quality of this film, and uh, and everything around it, I, I gotta strongly recommend The House of Us. It's actually really good. You know what I mean? It's uh, it'll hit your emotions right. And it's, it's, it's very realistic. And this director is another one to look out for. And if you have not seen The World of Us from 2016, make that a high priority as well. Both of these would make a great double feature, actually. Now, this is um, currently available on Asian Crush, the website, with English subtitles. So definitely check it out. I'm trying to think if The World of Us might be on there as well. You might want to check and see. So definitely, this is a high priority item. One of the better Korean films, I think, from the past few years. And as always, we'll see you next time.